Partisan. Um, it was a gentleman out of Canada. Uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about across the course, and uh, he was getting a little older. He was having a little harder time seeing the targets with uh, metal uh, optics. So he asked that he be able to put a scope on the rifle and a bipod on the front. And through, a, I'm sure, a few, a little bit of politics, uh, F class was born. And uh, it is, it is now uh, long range the home of long-range competitive shooting. Uh, we're shooting uh, at 700, 800, 900 meters internationally, uh, 8, 900, 1,000 yards here in the U.S. And Jim will talk shortly uh, about uh, our target. So uh, that's a little intro of how it got started. I'll, I'll promo Jim a, a little bit. Uh, there, there are a few semi-famous uh, shooters in the, in the sport. But Jim is a two-time U.S. national champion, uh, Canadian national champion, uh, Southwest national champion, and a few other uh, bobbles. But uh, one of the best in the sport, uh, certainly on the FTR side. And so he's going to talk a little bit about the differences between TR and open and the target. Thank you, Phil. Um, actually, we'll, we'll start with the targets. And just to give you a representation, this is a repair center is what we shoot at. Okay, here it looks fairly big, but when you back out a thousand yards, believe me, we can all tell you that it gets small, especially when you start getting raws and bone. The X-ring is five inches, so it equates to a half minute of angle at a, at a thousand yards. Um, most of our long range is at a thousand. Sometimes, like it says, we'll do eight, nine at a thousand. To the other extreme, we can cut it down to 500 yards. It cuts it down, and then this is what we'll shoot at at 300 yards. So we can go from very small at 300 to the large distance at 1,000, or in the international, we'll break it down to actually meters. What we use, we use two separate classes. The first being F open, which I equate to a unlimited class. Almost any caliber up to the range restriction um, uses a 22 pound weight limit, including your optics, and then you usually shoot off a mechanical rest in the front and a, a, a rear bag in the back. So you, you can hold precisely early in the mornings when you can see it, you can hold right where you want that shot to go. Okay. We don't have the luxury of going out and buying ammo that will work at this range. So we become partners with the Capstone Group and we use the, the Burger Bullets, the Vitafory Powder, the Lapua Brass. We tune that ammo for that rifle in that condition. We tune it to where we can get the best elevation so we can hit this target at a thousand yards. The ballistics of the Unlimited are vastly superior to what Phil and I shoot, which is uh, 308. So it's kind of like if you go into a, a, a top fuel or a funny car, is, is the F open, Unlimited, and then TR, we are limited. We shoot a 223 or a 308. Now we can adjust the bullets and the chamber length on the 308s to accommodate the different bullets. And just like we do in F open, we tune that ammunition for that rifle. So we might go with a different charged powder, different lot of primers, moving that bullet in and out just to tune it so it will work. We are fast, we're getting very close to the F open guys, but if you put the two together, the open is gonna have a little bit ballistic advantage. Um, back to the TR side, we're limited to 18.18 pounds, okay, and that includes the bipod. So if you use a big bipod, you can't have the big heavy rifle scope and the big heavy barrel. So you have to adjust everything around to make sure you meet that weight, okay? So those are the two different types of rifles that we shoot. Um, targets that we're using. Uh, I think that covers That's about it for the two types of rifles. And it's just the two classes, F Open and, and uh, FTR. And then we were just going to open, and Dan, unless you have anything to add, we we're going to open it up for questions. I know we talked a little bit on the side uh, about how to get started. And, and Jim mentioned this. Go ahead. One other thing, things to help you get started is um, your, your, any of your local clubs, 
uh, send them an email, say I'm interested, somebody will email you back. All of us are on um, USA. Yep, our website is uh, uh, usarifle2021.com and uh, my, my email address, our email address is the same at gmail.com. So usrifle2021 at gmail.com. So if you'll email us, uh, tell us where you're at. We're happy to connect you to the sport. We're happy to tell you major matches coming up. Uh, the USA Rifle Team is about 60 to 70 members strong uh, from all over the country. So it's pretty, it's highly likely that we have someone, someone within in a your, couple hours like drive. Like talking Utah, and I know um, David Gosnell shoots down there quite a lot. So we can, if we're not in your same area, we can probably steer you to someone in that area who will say, sure, come on out. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a rifle. You know what? Come out anyway. I'll let you shoot my rifle. Oh, yeah. You see how you like it. It's one of the most friendly. It, it, well, it's a friendly sport. A lot of shooting sports are, but don't use it. Don't have a stigma of, I don't want to show up at a thousand yards. Show up and shoot and have fun. And, and that's what it's all it, about. But, go back. That's right. Be careful. You get hooked and then you spend a lot of money. <laughs> but uh, we recommend don't don't buy new rifle and all that stuff before you get started. Bring what you have. Uh, we can help you find a load that will get to the sheep and come out and shoot and then connect with us. Uh, we will very likely let you sit down and shoot on one of our rifles so you can see ultimately what you're trying to get to and save that expenditure until you know exactly uh, what you want to buy and, and how, how competitive you want to get in the sport. The sport is amazing what has happened over the last decade on how competitive it has gotten. Um, it used to be in a 20 shot string, if you shot a 190, uh, you were doing fantastic. Uh, today, from a FTR standpoint, if you're not shooting a 194 to 197, 198, uh, you're not at the top. Uh, in uh, F Open, you're normally shooting 200s, 199s, 198s. Uh, uh, at the top with lots of that. And I just checked the national record for the unlimited class is 200 with 17. So they hit this 17 times out of 20 at a thousand yards. So the other three were, were in this ring. Yeah. And, and, so you've got to equate for all the wind changes, your ammo, you've got to tune that ammo to last the entire string. And, and, the, and the FTR were, is 200 with 14 or 15? 14. 14. I think it's 14X. So, it's so it, it has really got tight. So when you go to buy equipment, you don't want to be testing yourself uh, without knowing what we know. Because <laughs> we've been doing this for a long time and, and we share. And, and But you're going to find folks that are friendly that enjoy newcomers and, and welcome to the sport. Yeah. So uh, further questions? I know we talked a little bit. Uh, do I, we have yeah, any other I questions? Just, uh, between the FTR and the F Open, uh, one thing I've wondered about the FTR with the bipod that you have on there, uh, is there a lot of technique involved to make sure you don't get the, the, rifle, the, the rifle doesn't pop on you? Uh, yeah. I've, I've kind of wondered how that works. One yeah. of the things we do is, with the bipods in competition, you'll see most of them have skis on the front now. So that's so the rifle will slide. Um, if you have too much shoulder pressure or you're really grabbing hold of that rifle and it can't recoil and slide, it's going to bounce on you. The trouble with that is it's not going to bounce the same time to hit this target a thousand yards every time. But if you can get it to slide, the laws of average will be more in your favor of sliding more at the same time. And if also, you, sorry, go ahead. If you use old Harris bipod, not that they're old, with the rubber, the, the Harris bipod, okay. sing out, they've got the rubber feet. Those were made to actually preload to push into it just a bit and just move. 308s with a 200 grain bullet, it goes boom. It, it'll, it'll jump. It'll jump quite a bit. And also your bullet selection. The heavier bullet you put in your rifle, the higher your technique level level must be. So um, if you're new, if you're just getting started, going as light as the 155 grain bullet takes that part out of it. It's a very easy uh, bullet to shoot. Of course, it moves quite a bit at a thousand yards. 
Uh, the 185 Juggernaut, in, in my opinion, is the best general bullet for anybody new getting into the sport because it allows you a little freedom on your technique. Um, it, it, is, it does fight the wind well. And then to be competitive uh, worldwide now, you're probably in the 200 grain bullet. But, but you need the practice and, and how much, there's a lot of debate between how much pressure you put on the cheek piece and not. Uh, and that goes down to individual choice. And, and if you're starting out, it's fun to shoot a thousand, but probably should start at five, six hundred. Yeah, a six hundred yard mid range match is a, is a wonderful starting great match. Great. We have a lot of those. That, that's a great way to start. And they're a lot of fun. Yeah. They are a lot of fun. And that takes not all of the environment, but that extra 400 yards, it takes a lot of the environmentals out. So you can still have a windy day and have fun and keep them semi-close. This is what you'll use a 500, so you can keep them semi-close. But if you miss and miss the change, you can still be out here easy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been there. I think we, we all have. I think we, we all have been there. That's the thing. One of the big things with FTR is stock choice. You need to get behind some rifles and test the different stocks, test how you fit them and how they fit you, the grip. You've got a lot of them that, that have a, a vertical pistol grip. Uh, you got some now that guys are shooting like Pierce makes that, that virtually have no grip. They're more like a short range bench rest rifle. Uh, sort of, more so. I mean, but it just depends on, the, they'll all work. Uh, and we've had guys that have had successes with all types. Uh, it's really more a personal preference and what, what you like. You know, we've got the Seb uh, Joy Pods that have got this, the same mechanism that our big heavy front rests have where they where you can actually move the rifle with the joystick so some guys love them some guys hate them it's you an know, actual it's a, bipod with the joystick okay. control yeah. so being from cross course you, you understand the importance of natural point of aim so you can just get your natural point of aim and don't care where you're aiming and then move the crosshairs with that joy pod where you want it to go and your natural point of aim doesn't move it's just where your crosshairs move so but if you come out to one of those matches, you can see the different types of rifles and stocks he's talking about. And they'll be more than happy to let you get behind it, touch it, feel it. Sometimes they'll have extra hand or things like that. So uh, show point. up to a match, get in touch with the match director, say I'm new, or come out. You know, if you've got, whether it be the 700, the Savage Mom 12, Tico, whatever, something with a bipod to show up the first time and have fun. And that's where it starts. Yeah, don't be afraid. Uh, um, my story was 10 years ago. Uh, I was uh, just doing a uh, the AR matches where you shoot a metal plate down from 800 to or uh, 8 by 12 inch metal plate at 200 yards. Uh, then I uh, went to a, a gun show uh, in North Carolina that had a great gunsmith showing these beautiful rifles. We do like rifles with bling, so we like a little <laughs> style in the way we shoot. Uh, saw all these blue, beautiful rifles, and then there was a thousand yard match a couple weeks later. Walked up, felt a little intimidated, didn't know what I was doing, but uh, knew somebody who welcomed me, uh, let me pull the trigger on one of these incredible rifles at a thousand yards and when you hit that x-ring the first time you're hooked uh, and there's a lot of money that follows from there so but uh getting connected we'll, we'll make sure you do that if you connect with us and we welcome you back you guys said you were from utah our uh, u.s national championships are in raton new mexico this year coming up in, in uh, the latter part of august first of september time frame so if that's a close enough drive for you guys to come down to raton and uh, you can see the top of everything, It'll yeah, be right there. The yeah, it's a, the, the Whittington Center is uh, yeah. Whittington Center is beautiful. Uh, the weather is usually nice that time of year. You can come enjoy some time in the mountains and see. You can see everybody's rifles. You know, pretty much anybody will be there that, that is serious about it. And, uh, one thing you'll notice is we're all competitors and we'll all want to beat the next guy by one, but we all are good friends. When is that match again? Right on. The dates? Right right on is September 20th. 23rd, you say? When's the 20th. U.S. Nationals in return, Larry? Well, there's three of them. Yeah. yeah. The full yeah. bore, yeah. and the mid-range, then the long range. That's right. So the long range. It starts, I think, the, sometime at the end of the first, first weekend in September, around that time.
something is it's, 20 to All the information is on the Bald Eagles Rifle Club website. So if you just search Bald Eagles Rifle in Google, and Google. You'll, you'll, you'll get to that. And, uh, or, or email us. Right. Uh, They'll have the match we'll programs on there. Any other questions? I had a question on Reddit. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're, you're going to start a fight now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All, no, it's uh, all preference. Yeah. But but again, by looking at them, I like what's called the, the double D of, of knife. It's got a floating center dot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and see you got yeah, Larry's you got you down. You got, yeah. you know, he's a more world champion over here. Yeah. He doesn't like that, so yeah. it's a matter of preference. What your eyes like. Tracy Hogg likes the center dot with just a fine crosshair. Okay. Yeah, Best yeah. thing to do is, is we like can take you over here to Night Force and we can introduce yeah. you to a couple yeah. of those guys, and, and, and they'll show you them. exactly <laughs> your choices at least. You know. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, uh, you're, you're surrounded by a bunch of competitive freaks that yeah, are gonna, not going to take that. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> no waste, no yeah, waste it really is. I like not, the DDR. Like, you don't need yeah. to buy it. See, there you go. It's, uh, what, you need DDR. We'll let you look through. I like the old Talk to MP2 individuals, straight shooters, yeah, well, as to why they like what they do. I like the DDR, the original uh, DDR. Because we're all going to have got the bigger dog. <laughs> but uh, just looking around right here, you're surrounded by world championship gold medals and, and U U.S. national champions and all that. And we're probably going to have probably four different preferences right. to answer your question. Okay. And all of us will have our reason, and we know we're each right. Yeah. Then what we tell you. <laughs> so you're a bunch of women. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that. Come on now. Yeah. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly it. good question, though. Yeah. Anything else? But speaking of women in our sport, this young lady over here is one of our best. Uh, oh, yeah. So if you get oh, a chance yeah. to talk to her, and, and we have, there's any one of our major matches, we, we stand a pretty good chance of getting beat by a girl. Oh, yeah. And there's um, two of them walking around here. Don't we, Larry? Young girls that are on the under 25 team. Damn good. Yeah, if you don't like getting beat by a girl, girl you're on the wrong sport. Don't come we here. We have a lot of great, yeah. great women shooters, and, a lot, and, a, and there's a lot of under 25, a lot of kids that are really coming up through the sport. Because you've got Rick's daughter, Dan's daughter, Eric's daughter, they're all on the under 25. And they are strong. Yeah. yeah. We have them from 12 to 90. Yeah. And about everything in between. Hey, how do we contact you guys if you want to follow up? U US Rifle 2021 at gmail.com. All together. USA Rifle. USA Rifle? USA Rifle 2021. New USA. At gmail.com. Or if you Facebook search just US Rifle 2021, we're on there. Yeah, your also, website. Uh, Facebook, just uh, USA Rifle 2021. Facebook will get you. Right. We'll get you in touch with all of us. Yeah, I can bring that up. Yeah, there you go. Sure. That's our Facebook page. What's the 2021 though? Yeah, uh, the world the, our world championships are every four years, like the Olympics. So you're gonna change the name uh, to. 2025 after uh, the next yeah, like probably so. yeah new email or? what's that is it a new email? probably now we'll see uh, every cycle gets uh, there's a new election of leadership oh, okay. that's that's selected so that's by the NRA so we're yeah. just designating that uh, the 2017 World Championships just happened this previous yep. year uh, in Canada so we're, we're for this cycle and that's what that means awesome. so, but stay connected. We do our announcements there. We talk about different matches on here too. So this will be an informative place for you as well. Uh, we also have a website uh, that will be going up in the next three weeks under the same USARifle2021.com. So you can stay connected to that as well. If you Google okay. F class, I mean, that's going to come on the YouTube video. You know, it's really weird because there's no there's, there's Mr. intro videos right. on it. There's yep. always guys talking about it, but they're talking at an advanced level. If yep. you Google, on, or not Google, on YouTube, good, good, Eric Cortina. There's some good yep. books written about reading when. Yeah. That's why it's best to, to learn from the actual He will get, he has a ton of useful videos 
um, and he's got his channel, Eric Cortina, reloading, brass work, neck sizing, yeah. you know, his die, and neck sizing only. Um, <laughs> But he does a lot of work behind the scenes for the community. And it's not just yeah. FBI. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we're still a very shoot. young sport. So, so we're, we're every like cycle. Every, we're every other discipline, trap ski, you know, you always put an intro of some sort. Yeah. You know, when I was doing trap, I, you know, how to start trap, uh, trap uh, intro. Well, with F class, I couldn't find anything except for the advanced guys yeah. talking about. Interesting. You need to work on that. Yeah, that's just a little constructive criticism. That's good feedback. Yeah, thank yeah. you. The club, and you get in touch. Now, if you were anywhere around North Carolina and you don't have a rifle and you want to come out and shoot, yeah, we'll bring you a rifle. Oh, yeah. We have enough. I mean, not that we have enough, but yeah. we'll we'll load up extra rounds for I, you to come out. I and had my, my picture taken with a with a. I think you were close to me. 